We're looking at integrals that involve this essential form and we'll start from easy and get a little bit more advanced but not too advanced. So you might recall uh, with your differentiation or finding the derivative if we have the derivative of natural log of x we've seen in past videos that that result is 1 on x so from that it follows that the integral of 1 on x dx is natural log of x plus c now we actually write the absolute value there unless it's defined and by it I mean unless x is defined over an appropriate domain so if it is defined over an appropriate domain we can drop the absolute value sign otherwise we tend to keep it there because remember we can take logs of positives only all right so that goes also goes back to a different body of work we've looked at in the past so um, you are required to remember that so that's why we have the absolute value symbol there so that is required unless um, the, less the log or less we have an appropriate domain defined for x okay so leave it there if it's not defined as such the other stipulation of course is that x can't equal zero so I'll put that in there because you can't take log of zero from previous work so let's try one let's consider integral of 5 on x dx so we have um, one of the earlier properties we looked at with integrals we can write it as such with the constant out the front and then looking at the result above it's simply just 5 log x absolute plus c x can't be 0 Okay, moving right along. So for our next variation, we know that uh, from our previous work, the derivative of something like a natural log of ax plus b, where a and b are constants, and using the chain rule for differentiation, we get the derivative of the inner function multiplied by the derivative of the outer function. And uh, if we made a u substitution, we'd make u equal to ax plus b. And essentially, we would get a the derivative of the inner function over ax plus b so that's from our previous work it follows that if we take the integral of that result with regards to x all right we shall get log of ax plus b plus c or a variation you'll probably see a bit is the integral of 1 over ax plus b is the above with a reciprocal of a multiplied on the front as such so that's another noteworthy result so for example if we had something like the integral of 1 over 3x plus 1 dx we would have the result 1 third natural log of 3x plus 1 absolute plus c Okay, the third and final phase, if we took the derivative of the natural log of some function of x, which we shall call f of x here, using the chain rule, we'd get the derivative of f of x times 1 over f of x, if we made something like a u substitution from the chain rule. Uh, you may actually have seen that more commonly written as this so f dash of x over f of x and this might ring a bell because you saw that in the title of this video so it follows that if we take the integral of that result just above there the integral of 
f dash of x over f of x dx. So in other words, if we have something in the form of a function of x or a function of some variable we're dealing with on the denominator and we have its derivative on the numerator, we can simply follow the following. I'm using the word follow a lot in this video, aren't I? So natural log of absolute value of f of x, so the log can be defined plus c, the arbitrary constant. So let's look at a variation of this one, or maybe two. Firstly, a straightforward one. So let's look at this example here. We look at um, an identifiable f of x. What would f of x be? Well, we would consider whether we write it down or think about it. Um, in this case, f of x, the function of x, is x cubed plus 1. And hopefully the derivative is present in the integrand, integrand being the thing being integrated. And yes, it is because the derivative of f of x is 3x squared. So that fits very neatly. And so the result would be natural log of x cubed plus 1 absolute plus c. Now what happens if we don't get this magic here? Let's have a look. So for this one here, we have perhaps an f of x set to x squared plus 4x plus 5. So the derivative would be f dash of x equals 2x plus 4. Okay, now we look back at the function, we don't have 2x plus 4 on the top. So let's see what would happen if we wrote it in, if we wrote what we want, what would be the consequences of that? Well, firstly, obviously, we can't change the function being integrated. But if we look closely, the, what's the difference between, or the factor between x plus 2 and 2x plus 4? Well, that is actually 2 lots of x plus 2, twice what we've got. So we actually need to use the reciprocal of the two, which is a half. If we multiplied that out there, we would still have the same thing. So a half on the front. I'm not going to put it there, however. Where do you think I'm going to put it? I'm going to put it out here. So the integrand still follows the func the uh, the rule above. It's the functions are in the correct form, and we just have to multiply the result by a half. So it's a half outside of natural log of the f of x, which is x squared plus 4x plus 5. And we've got that absolute, and we've got a plus c on the end. And we have our result.